So what is up my dragon and dragoness? Welcome back to Nacoversal. Um What I want to talk to you about that shit right there. What it says buy sell trade video games. Uh in a while, but I'm going through a lot right now with the state plumbing exam, um, moving, stuff like that. I will make a video about me moving. Um and um stuff like that it's just like everybody and their grandma wants to move to texas now and because of that the prices are getting r risen up and so i used to make good money now i make shitty money because of the price of everything going up so kind of kind of sucks so anywho uh i used to work at gamestop got fired from gamestop over dumb shit they will fire you over dumb shit um if they don't like the store manager, anybody that's under the store manager, they will fire that whole store just to put all their people inside of the store. Uh, that's what happened with me. Um, I got fired for eating on the sales floor. I got fired for drinking on the sales floor because, you know, when you're thirsty and you're working and they don't really give you a lunch or a break, they get mad at you for stay hydrated during the whole day ordeal, right? So I got written up for that. I got written up for eating. You know, and it wasn't like our food was just out and about. Like we would take a couple bites and then we would hide the food underneath the counter so that way the customer wouldn't see it because that's that's unprofessional. The drinking, not wearing a tie or a dress shirt. I can't remember. It was one of those two. I know I got written up for not wearing dress shoes because I was wearing um, tennis shoes. And I'm like, I don't have dress shoes. And it was because that one day the dude was coming and they were like, you have to wear dress shoes. So I got written up for that. I got written up for a lot of dumb things or like supposedly they told me to do something I got written up for for not finishing it in time it was just goofy stuff like that like it, it was really dumb and then they get they got to the point to where they was like okay well you don't seem like you love your job anymore I'm like me of all people like I play video like still to this day I still play video games hardcore I don't love my job. Like, I'm surrounded by video games. I get to talk about video games all day and get to talk to customers about video games and actually play the damn games. And then they allow you to take the games home for like, I believe then it was four days. You have to take the game home for four days, which is all I needed. Cause I only needed two days to beat the fucking game. So it was like going home, doing your homework, play the game and then come back somewhere you could talk about it. Easy. You gotta do that all day. And I didn't have a problem cleaning it up. I never been the person that like somebody's like, hey, I need you to do this. Okay, I need you to do that. Okay. So what they did the day that I got fired is they told me to clean up the whole store. She had another store manager come in. She was like, hey, and how you doing? I'm like, good. I don't like cleaning up. Just happy because I'm surrounded by what I love, you know? And the next thing you know, she's like, hey, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay. She's like, well, you don't seem like you love your job anymore. We have to let you go. I'm like, are you serious? She was like, yeah. Okay, and then I just gave her my badge and I walked right out the store at home. And one of my friends was taking me. Um, he was taking me home, and then he was like, "What's up?" I was like, "They just fired me." He said, "No, the fuck they did." And I'm like, "Yeah, they did. They fired me." She said, "It don't seem like I love my job anymore. I would never fucking forget that." I was like, "He's that's fucking bullshit." And then not that long later, he got he got fired. They was firing everybody left and right, and then she was like. Every time, like, uh, I didn't go to the store for a while because I was pissed. But I'm not the type of person to be yelling and screaming at um, people and whatnot. It is what it is. I fucking move on. But um, I was, I was pissed, right? So I finally go in there. She she told me that she thought that she was going to get um, cussed out or whatever. She thought I was going to cuss her out because how pissed off I was. She's I could see that you was mad. She's like, I'm so sorry. It wasn't my decision, Rodolfo. Um... That's the, that's the district manager name, Rodolfo. He was the one that told me to let you go and whatnot. I was like, wow. I said, like, well, it is what it is. I said, I'm not the type of person to be yelling and screaming at people. I said, I was mad. That's why I didn't show up for a while. And then I started going back to GameStop. Um, I still don't like GameStop. <laughs> just, I don't know. I just don't. It's the people that's inside of GameStop that make me like, hey, I like this store. And I go in, like the one that I'm in front of right now. Um, like I said, I'm here because I'm uh, like I'm door dashing, so I'm waiting for a fucking order to show the fuck up. Uh, I'm gonna have to start doing that hourly shit because this right here is not okay. I could have had twenty dollars now, but if you do it by per 
if you do it by per order and, it, and it's popping like it's supposed to, then you get good money out of it. So anywho, um, my, my, my whole concept of the buy sell trade, right? Um, is the reason why like I'm making this video. And also let y'all know I'm still alive. So I, I get the buy, right? You buy video games from GameStop. Then you sell your games to GameStop, right? I guess the I guess like now that I'm thinking about it, the aspect of trading will be like you trade your games in and they give you a certain amount of money and then you will go, you know, like the value of, of the game and that's how you trade your game in to get another game. I, I'm guessing that's how it is. But like when you trade stuff with your friends and whatnot, you really like unless you're a professional, but you know, usually back then it was like, hey man. I got something you want, you got something I want. Can I have that for this? Even though the value is like totally different, you be like, you know what, I do want that. Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do a trade. That's that's how I think of trading. But now that I'm sitting there looking at that damn shit, it's like, um, I was like, yeah, that's, that's I guess that's gonna be the only way you can, you actually trade games in, because you're like, they trading it, and they tell you will get this much for that much, and then you will go get another game for that price and whatnot but the thing is though it's not they're, they're the ones that okie doking you right and then you still gotta give them money for the value so technically you're still buying so there's no fucking trade there's not how many times have you bought a new game from gamestop and you like bro this game just came out last week what the fuck you mean you're gonna give me 40 dollars <laughs> like oh like the damn game 70 dollars I bought it for 70 bucks. You talking about you gonna give me 40? 40? Sometimes they only give you 30. Like the max it like they'll go is like 30 sometimes on a brand new damn game. Like, bro, this damn came out. And what I don't I, what GameStop, yo, hey. Why is it that all the fucking Mario games that are like five years old is still 60 bucks? Huh? Brand new still 60 bucks. When I could take my happy ass to Walmart that's around the corner that's selling that shit for $30. Can anybody tell me why? There is only a GameStop. Like, I noticed that. I go in there because I like Nintendo. All right, cool. So I go in there, and they know everybody loves fucking Mario. I don't like Mario as a person, but I love Mario the games, right? My wife, if you're watching this, fuck you. Because I, I know she's going to start some shit when she hear that. Um, I love Mario the games. I don't like him as a person. He's a fucking dick. But my thing is, I, everybody knows Mario is like Mario, Zelda, like any any of those like name brand characters. All the games are still fifty nine ninety nine, even though that shit came out like five years ago. But you still want me to pay full price for that shit? But if you just people, if you just take your ass to Walmart, take your ass to Walmart, you would get that shit for thirty dollars. Stop buying shit from GameStop. They out here ripping people off. And the fact that people want the game and they don't do their homework, they just go in and get the game and leave. Especially these young kids. Ripping the fuck out of people. Stop buying this shit from them. <laughs> Especially Mario games. Like Nintendo games is so... So... They, 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 it's so overpriced at GameStop. Like I would go in that bitch and like, bitch, $59.99. I'm like... Breath of the Wild came out years ago, bro. Why I'm still like Mario Odyssey came out years ago, bro. Like, why am I still paying fifty nine ninety nine? I understand that it's new. Mario value don't stay at that fucking high. There's a new um Zelda game coming out, which I'm going to fucking get. But there's a new one coming out, right? When did that bitch come out anyway? Huh? I'm have to go ask some questions. Um. You know, it's overpriced. The games are for Nintendo are overpriced at GameStop. Quit trying to buy that shit at GameStop. There's really no trade system. Cause like I said, even do even though because the games are so fucking high and they give you so cheap of it. So that game that you just bought, right? Say like you just bought it. You're like, oh, I want to trade this in. I'm gonna get something else. You're thinking that I'm gonna get the same value that you just traded in, right? Because it's used, I understand, right? 
it was $59.99. But GameStop was like, we're going to give you $30. Like, what? But the thing is, though, GameStop is not going to sell that shit for uh, $30 used. They're going to sell that shit for $54.99 used. So now, you traded in your game to get another game and you're thinking you're gonna get around the same amount right they gonna take a couple bucks off because it's brand new even if this shit was like you open it and you played it for um for like a week all right even you play that shit for a day and you open it you're like i don't like this shit you go back hey man i want to trade this in I, I don't i don't like this okay cool go get you another game you come back and you think you can get the same thing that's like, all right you owe us 15 dollars, 20 bucks 30 bucks Whatever the case may be. You're like, what? I just got this shit yesterday. Yeah. The you used it. You opened it. You played it. Use value is $30. It's like, you fucking kidding me? The game came out like two, three days ago, and it's $59.99. New. Like, at least you get 50 bucks. <laughs> nah. <laughs> GameStop don't give a shit, bro. So it's really no trade in. Because you're getting fucked. You're still buying the game. You're still buying. Even though that you're buying it. Even, even though that you would buy like a quote unquote cheaper price. You're, you're still buying the game. So the trade part needs to go. Buy and sell. That's, that's basically all that shit is. You're selling your game to buy another game. There's no trade in GameStop. Stop lying to these people. Quit overpricing people. That's why GameStop is like on a downhill spiral. Like it went up because of uh, that uh, that uh, cryptocurrency bullshit. The stock. The stock. That's what it was. I should have got in on that shit. I was so scared. I was like, it, I bought GameStop like at $13. Damn. I saw that shit went up. I, I, I don't like to gamble. I saw that shit go up a little bit. I was like, mm, sale. I'm one of those people. Like, as soon as I win a little money, I'm out, bro. You better take all my money. But I, I should have. Should have kept that shit, man. I could have had some money in my goddamn pocket. God damn it. Um, but yeah. That, that's my whole my whole bitching is the, the trade. I'm looking at trade. I'm like, eh, no. And for somebody who used to work at GameStop and the shitty practices they have get people to sell and then if you don't sell enough they want to fire you and shit yeah no GameStop is just shady all around bro they don't give a fuck but anyway like I said that's why I made the video for it also to let y'all know I'm alive I'm doing alright um, like I said still got the plumbing thing I gotta do once I pass that then I get a raise and then I'm gonna take my other test to get another big raise and then um, then we'll have internet in the house like I just moved in I, I've been living there for like maybe a week Actually, yeah. Today's a week. Only been there for a week. That's crazy. So I'm still trying to get my life together. Still trying to do stuff and whatnot. Um, it's a, it's a lot of fucking work, man. It, it is a lot of work. But anyway, y'all stay blessed. Always remember to believe in yourself and follow your dreams. You shall achieve it. Oh, I'm engaged. Yeah, like officially engaged. That happened like a while back. Not that long ago, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I don't remember the date. She's not going to remember the date either. But I could go to my pictures and see when the pictures was taken. And that would tell me the date that I took the pictures. So, and at the time. Thank God for uh, uh, technology, man. Because I, I sure wouldn't have fucking remember that shit. So, anywho. Yeah, I'm engaged. And I wear this, I mean, I've been wearing it anyway, you know, just because, like, she's mine, I'm hers. But I got engaged, and she's where um, uh, we did a, a necklace for her because she like to wear jewelry around her finger. And I'm like, I'm trying to get used to this. I, I don't think I'm going to because I be feeling some type of way. My finger itch sometimes. Well, the, the itching of the finger stop, but my finger feel like it's getting suffocated, and, like, I feel the swellness, and I got to take it off and then leave it out. So I'd rather wear a necklace like she got and just put it around my neck um that's probably what i'm going to do once i get our ring yay uh, so but yeah got engaged trying to do the plumbing thing 
just moved in, so I'll make a video about me moving in and stuff like that. So y'all have a good one. This is fuck GameStop, yo.